All right, guys, don't mind the background. I'm actually at my mom's house. Long story short, I ordered a Bombay and Cedar mystery box. I have done, I want to say two on my channel. I've absolutely loved them. I used to get their subscription box. They have like a quarterly one, a monthly one, a lifestyle, a beauty. They have a lot of different options. And I used to get the quarterly one because you guys know I don't like too many monthly boxes. Things add up quickly. And I got the fall and the winter and I actually really love them. If I remember, I will put the videos down below. But I canceled right before spring because my New Year's resolution was to save more, spend less. I canceled a lot of boxes and honestly the spring spoilers look like things I kind of already have. But I still get mystery boxes from time to time because you do not have to be a subscription member to order their mystery boxes. And I've always really loved them. And they do like, if you do reviews on the products, you get, because it's Bombay and Cedar, it's called BC Coins. And you get like money off the mystery purchases. So I got money off this one. The reason I'm at my mom's is because it shipped here. The reason it shipped here, guys, this is the kicker. It almost makes me not want to order this box again. You guys tell me what you think. But I bought this box back in June. Today is August 5th. I bought this box oh, two months ago. I bought this when I knew we were moving and I wasn't 100% sure how long it was going to take to ship. I wasn't sure if I was going to be at my new place yet or at the old place. So instead of it being in limbo, I put in my mom's address. I did that for two other packages at the time, but I got those like within a week or two. This one took two months. I literally contacted the company twice and they kept just saying oh we'll be shipping it soon we've been having issues with shipping blah blah and don't get me wrong i know with the pandemic i know there's been issues and i expected that a year ago but now i've been getting everything so quickly why now you know so i'm going to show you guys the box but let me show you this because it's so cute my mom's cat is literally sitting on the box so i feel bad because i have to move her but a girl's got to film so and honestly for two months this bed had been worth the wait excuse me maya Hi, baby. Um, I need the box. Come on. Come on, baby. Thank you. Okay. So, let's see what is inside the mystery box. I have gotten some repeat products. I mentioned that in my last mystery box unboxing. But it is always worth it, even with the repeat items. Some of the repeat items are items I would need anyway. Like, for example, it was like charcoal-infused uh, makeup rounds like that I could always replenish my makeup rounds um like cotton rounds you know <laughs> excuse me but I've gotten like a key kettle a key kettle twice and it's like I don't need two key kettles but <clears throat> I always give things away to family friends and the person I give the key kettle to actually really liked it so as long as it's not you know like a bunch of repeats I'm fine with that and I got the tea kettle again. Oh my God. I literally just opened this box right in front of you guys with the pair of scissors. Like I did not plan that. Literally the same exact tea kettle. Well, I'm gonna offer it to my mom and see what she thinks. It is very cute. Do not get me wrong. Like I said, the person who got it loved it, but I don't need three of them. That is the only thing you take a um, chance. I guess when you order the mystery boxes because it tends to be repeated items it's like items that were in their past boxes that they have a lot of stock of so but it's always a good idea to give these as a gift before we know christmas will be around the corner guys and it is very very cute and it does have the little like separate net right here so everything came really well wrapped my other two came well wrapped as well so i can pop it right back in the box and if my mom's not interested in it i'm sure i will think of someone but if you're not someone you know you don't want to just give things away like i said you can always save it for christmas or a birthday or whatever let's see hopefully i can get too many other repeat items Ooh, i like was about to order this from fab fit fun tomorrow tomorrow's fab fit fun choices it's another lifestyle box i get and this is one of the options in the box it is basically a coffee cup Made with naturally organic bamboo fiber. If it's what I'm thinking it is, it's definitely what it looks like. It's one of those reusable ones. Oh no, it's not what I thought. Well, it is uh, obviously a reusable coffee cup, but the one from Fat Pit Fun folds down like accordion style, so it makes it easier to store, like when you're done using it in your lunchbox. So I thought because this is so short, can you guys tell how small this is? Like, obviously this is an extra tall tumbler, but look at this. It's like it's baby. Um, so I thought it was like folded in but nope this is the height of it so this is a very small coffee cup i'm curious if it has like any dimensions on here no not really it just kind of says like 
the natural reusable it says over 100 billion single-use cups end up in landfills it's a big problem but one thing but one we really can do something about because each time you use your eco coffee cup you're not only helping hashtag stop the 100 billion you also drink from a natural product made with one of the world's most sustainable resources naturally organic rapidly renewable bamboo fiber Better still, when you are done with it in a few years' time, send it back to nature by simply crushing it and burying it along with organic compost. Less plastic, less waste. That's the Eco Coffee Cup. That's why Eco Coffee Cup is the natural, is the natural reusable. So I will definitely use it, but uh, I'm used to bigger coffee cups. Um, so this was, I'm not sure how I feel about this, guys, because it would definitely be a small cup of coffee. And she's back in the box again. Do you guys see this? Oh my god, Maya, I got to show what's inside there, girl. Come on. She loves boxes. <laughs> kind of miss her. All right, let's see what else we got. She's just getting cozy in there again. Um, I have no idea what this is, honestly. There's like no explanation whatsoever. Things to be grateful for. And it has a bunch of things on it. Oh, is this... Okay, so it looks like there's a little cutout here. Let me... And... I am so confused. There is literally just a bunch of pieces of napkins in here. Like... I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, you write what you're grateful for. But no, this just looks like if you're like uh, going to a picnic or to the beach and you want to carry some napkins. I don't, yeah, these are dry. I don't know if these used to be wet and this is older, but they literally just feel like, oh, it's like a little tissue box. Okay. So I guess it's definitely something I'll use. It's just very random. And it literally, the packaging is cute. Um never seen anything like this before that is for sure that is one thing i used to say like it was very unique products that is extra unique let's see what else we got i got a reusable bag it's one of those envy bags be green with envy that's cute so this one's nice it has a little keychain clip here and you just clip it on and this is one of the ones you would literally just does it fold inside of itself or is it all inside this pouch okay it's inside the little travel pouch Thank you for your purchase. And that's it. It just kind of tells you how to fold it to get it back in this nice little shape to put it back inside of here. So this is nice to keep in my purse when I go grocery shopping or keep in my car or anything like that. I definitely love using reusable bags. Oh my God. Maya, you guys, like seriously, look at this. Maya, I love you. You can have the box when it's empty. I got another tea. This does not surprise me. This is the same tea I've gotten two other times before. It always, I assume it's like a little set. I have no idea. It is a detox tea and it always comes with this. I gave the tea to the same girl that I gave the kettle to. So like I said, I will offer it to my mom. It's 100% organic ginger, lemongrass, dandelion, and Tulsi, I think if that's how it says. And it says you just add a tablespoon and a half to eight ounces of boiling water steep for 10 minutes essential rose life is the name brand mind body beauty rituals all right my mom's got some christmas storage back there <laughs> oh this i have gotten in a box i remember really liking these so i that's one thing i like they always had like a little snack in every single box and i love birthday cake flavored items and that's what this is it's by the name brand siren it's called protein bites you get 10 grams of plant protein dairy free soy free gluten free that was always a good thing too every snack they gave was always like dairy free gluten free um soy free which is good if you're someone who's vegan or has celiac disease and can't eat gluten things along that nature so let's see what we got here a straw for every hashtag soulmate reusable stainless steel straw I have so many straws at this point. I bought a set because I wanted one set for my house. And then I've gotten so many in mystery boxes and stuff. But totally fine. I will add it to my collection. I literally have like green, rose gold, gold, silver. So here it is. I got, oh, this one's, oh, this is cute. I got a gold, a silver, and a rose gold. And this one looks a lot thicker. I don't have a lot of these. I like these for when I have smoothies. I do make a lot of smoothies. Comes with the cleaning 
tool and it comes in this little pack. So this is nice and travelable if I want to take it if I'm going on a trip, which I am soon, or on a picnic, the beach, whatever. So I'm cool with that. Personal scent diffuser. Carry your scent with you. This looks like something you would like keep in a car, basically. Kind of reminds me of their little scent things from Bath and Body Works, but I, yeah, this doesn't have like the visor clip, so I would have to keep this like in my cup holder or something, or wherever I guess you would want like a little diffuser, but this one doesn't need like the electricity portion of it. And you literally like, this is it closed. That's it closed. And that's it open. I don't know if you guys can tell that little, that's how you're like releasing the scent. So now it's closed. Now it's open. Doesn't really give a lot of information. Hold on, there's papers on the inside. So let me see. Instructional manual. Oh, so you do have to put little drops on the papers inside. That would make sense on why there really isn't a scent. So yeah, add a few drops of essential oil of choice. Replace the upper cover and make sure, and it's called the yo-yo. Make sure yo-yo is properly sealed. Rotate the upper cover to diffuse the scent. You may add more essential oils for stronger scents diffusion. So that's kind of nice. Instead of like constantly, like the ones I was talking about, Bath and Body Works, that go in like the visor of the car, you have to constantly replace these little scent pods. So this one's kind of like really nice because it's just, you keep this as long as you want it and you just keep adding essential oils to the stone on the inside so this is stone i thought it was like a paper but it said stone and now that i'm actually like touching it you guys can hear that it is definitely stone interesting name brand because it did kind of look like a yo-yo in the box so that's cute i will definitely use this this is so cute even something to keep like in the bathroom let's see oh this fell out i noticed when i grabbed that it's a little pair of wooden earrings and it looks like owls I have a friend that used to love owls. She probably would have loved these. I no longer talk to that friend, but I'll either wear it or I can definitely give it to someone. I love the wood look of them. Super cute. I just have sensitive ears, so I gotta be careful with earrings. Dries in seconds, fights germs naturally. Magic soap gist. Wanna see a trick? Three, two, one, dry. A soap gist that dries in a flash and doesn't leave you with mussy soap can't be real, right? Wrong. We've conjured up the magical solution using lightweight, ultra-absorbent diatomite and natural plant fiber with anti-slip grooves and sterile antibacterial properties. This durable soap dish keeps your soap fresh and firm, eco-friendly, durable, anti-slip, antibacterial. The magic soap dish keeps soap long lasting longer and smelling better. Keep the magic alive by regularly rinsing excess soap residue from your soap dish very interesting my boyfriend i did mention this in a video recently when we moved in together i'm more i was more of a body wash person now i use spun gel which is a product that was introduced to me through fab fit fun it's like a body wash buffer the body wash is infusing the buffer but i was buying him body washes and then one day he was like taylor i prefer bars of soap and i'm like oh you could have told me that so i have been buying him bars of soap so i guess i can keep this in the bathroom it has a very cool look to it. it just looks like a brown uh brown a gray stone and I guess you would just keep your soap on here and it helps the soap dry faster and keep it from being like so gross that's why I hate bars of soap honestly there's always felt more sanitary to have a bottle of body wash but it's better for the environment to use bars of soap less plastic packaging and stuff like that so that'll be good I can definitely use that with him oh is this a book I know a lot of mine came with books which I really loved some of them were like actual novels you read some of them were recipe books some of them were like journal prompt books where it tells you a little something and you, you write the rest of it this one says two kinds of people a visual compatibility quiz oh that's kind of cool let's see oh yeah so it's literally a game pick a pot and turn the page to the first spread each person chooses which illustration best fits best fits his or her personality if it's a match, record it on the fold-out scoring wheel in the back by moving the spinner forward one space. If it's not a match, continue to the next spread. When you reach the end of the book, check the scoring wheel for your final match number. Find that number on the scale of compatibility to discover if you're mortal enemies, casual cohorts, soulmates, or somewhere in between. That is really cool. I'm definitely going to have to look more into this. Oh yeah, there is like a wheel back here, like they said, and the scale of compatibility depending on your score. 
So it looks like there's always like two pictures and you pick whatever one calls to you most. And that's how you know if you're compatible or not. So like this picture versus this picture and that you play with the partner. That's pretty cool. You can definitely do that with my boyfriend. We are we're supposed to be going on a trip for my birthday. We shall see. All right, looks like we got a little bag. I have gotten bags from them before too. Let's see what this bag is all about. It's a travel type bag. The other one was more like a clutch. It definitely looks like, ooh, is this a little lunchbox or something? This looks cute. The Collection Wave of Change by Full Circle. Ooh, I love Full Circle. So let's see. It looks like I got the small lunch satchel. It shows you the entire collection here. There's a medium, a large, and a small. Then there's a set of two sandwich pouches to go with it. There's a utensil set that comes in its own pouch and a set of two snack pouches. I absolutely love the color of this. This is so cute to carry a little lunch. Or like I said, by the beach, by the pool to carry snacks for my trip. I absolutely love this, it's super cute. So glad I got that. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have preferred like the large and the medium, but I'll take it. Oh, I also got the utensil set, I think. So it's really cute. I got like a matching set. Oh, I really like that. So you guys can see it matches. Super cute. This will be perfect for me to take to work. Let's see. Oh, they have bamboo too. That is so cute. Knife, fork, and spoon. Oh my God, I'm so happy I got this. So I mean, there's definitely some obscure items like the random tissue box. But and like the repeat item of the tea kettle, but so far I absolutely love this. The book is a really cool concept. I am actually quite curious to try this out. My boyfriend's soap. I got some wax melts. This one I already have, I've gotten it twice. I did get a wax melt warmer from them in a past box, and this is the wax melt it came with. And then I've gotten it in a mystery box of four, so now I have it again. This one is Zen Garden. I actually really like it, it's like eucalyptus and spearmint, so I have a placement when I run out of those again and then I got another one and it's the same brand name but this one it says aromatherapy melts it's an all-natural soy wax with essential oils this one is clary lemongrass and lime oh that sounds like that would smell wonderful let me open this and smell it the box get close to the end here guys oh that smells wicked good oh I love lime and citrus mm. we definitely smell the lemon and lime I got another one of these car air fresheners. I have gotten this in a past mystery box. They just have like cute quotes on them. This one says, your life is so important. And the other side says, you are beyond worthy of this life. Um, the I'm trying to remember what the smell was. Did I even use it yet? It might not be. I have like a whole stack and then I just go through it regularly. I haven't been driving my car as much because I have summers off. Um, I don't, if I, if I did use it, it wasn't a smell that like stuck out to me. So I don't know how good the smell is on these, but the quotes are really cute. So got that. I have two products here that look quite similar. Yeah, I think it's same name brand. One of them I cannot use. It's a Dr. Botanical set. One is a rescue butter, lemon superfood, all in one rescue butter. Natural skincare, cruelty free, vegan friendly. I have products from Dr. Botanicals that I've gotten through um, Ipsy before. So this is kind of just like a multi-use balm. It says use as a moisturizer, rub small amounts of balm between your fingers, apply to face, massage until absorbed. It says to use it as a treatment. You can apply to any dry or cracked areas as required, such as lips, elbows, and heels. To use as a cleanser. Interesting. I would never think something can be a moisturizer and a cleanser. Massage a generous amount throughout your face while avoiding the eyes and gently wipe away with a cotton pad or cloth then rinse. Probably just use this as a moisturizer. Um, I, I feel like a cleanser I would want to get like foamy or soapy. Like I don't feel like that would make a good cleanser. It is safety sealed so I'm going to let it be that way because I have stuff I have to gut through. But I do like the Dr. Botanical stuff. I had like a sleeping mask from them I really liked. And I like that it's vegan, cruelty free. It's 98% natural. This is the one I'm not 100% sure if I can use. I might ask my mom's advice. I love cooling eye serums. I've been obsessed. I got it in the FabFitFun box. It was like a little, it was from Tula Skincare. And it was a balm that you literally put under your eyes and you can put under your brow bone and it really helps wake me up in the morning. I've already bought in a milk makeup one for when that one runs out. I have a backup because I've really been enjoying it. 
So this is, it says a superfood cooling eye serum. So the concept of it, I would really love. Same brand again, vegan, cruelty-free, and natural. My problem is, is it has kiwi-free oil and I'm allergic to kiwi. But I'm pretty sure just ingesting it, I don't know if putting it on my face will cause an issue. I might do a patch test and see if I don't swell up. Because um, under my eyes, I definitely don't want to swell up under my eyes. It says the kiwi fruit oil helps to maintain moisture in the skin. It has grapefruit essential oil to, for high levels of vitamin C, aids in reducing appearance of skin perfection, appearance of oily skin. And it has peptide six, helping reduce the appearance of wrinkles. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. As always, ask my mom's opinion. I ask her opinion on everything. And, and I got a Hylographic Lip Gloss Quad. Great as lipstick toppers. And it's by Belle Pierre Cosmetics. It's actually a really good name brand. I'm used to seeing, when I see lip products like this, I don't know why, my my mind always goes to like a lower quality drugstore brand. I'm just not used to packaging like this in a more high quality brand. So I'm really surprised when I saw the Bella Pierre Cosmetics name. At first I was considering saving this and giving it as a gift. I think it would be really cute to like a young teen. But because it's Bella Pierre, I might keep it because I actually really, really love Bella Pierre. And it just says, make your lips out of this world with three, with these four unique holographic lip gloss shades formulated with vitamin E. These lip glosses leave your lips feeling soft and nourished. They can be worn alone for a sheer glossy lip or used as lipstick toppers to amplify your look. So from every day to runway. So I haven't officially decided if I'm going to keep this or not, but it's definitely something I'm going to consider. The colors are Vega, Pegasus. Polaris and Jupiter. It doesn't really, okay. Polaris, Pegasus, Vega, and Jupiter. And those are like the shades. They have like a clear milky white here. This is more on the pinkish purple. And then this is like kind of a peachy color. This is definitely leans towards orange. So that was everything I got. Um, definitely not my favorite one, but there's definitely products I will use. The other two outshined it for me. This was about 50 bucks. Do I think feel like I got $50 worth. Honestly, not in this one. I don't know. I really love the lunch bag with the matching utensils. I will 100% use this. I probably will use this at home for tea. I don't know. I feel like my coffee would be like right at the top. I would have no room for cream or anything. But for tea, put a little tea bag in there. I could definitely see myself using that. Uh, I'll definitely use the balm. You know, I will obviously eventually hang this in my car. Um, I will keep this in my car, but I have tons of shopping bags. I like the straw, the thicker one for smoothies, but I have plenty of straws. The book's really interesting. The soap dish is interesting. The diffuser is interesting. I'm not sure. We shall see. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it again. Between this and the shipping issues, I don't know how I feel about it. You guys tell me down below. What do you think? Because I waited two months for this. 50 bucks. But my last two were absolutely amazing. It's the rescue take, you know? And I, I keep buying $29 mystery bundles from FabFitFun. And those only get like three items. And this you definitely get a lot of items, but it's the items I'm gonna use, you know what I mean? So I got a lot though, cause I got the lip glosses, the tea, the kettle, the diffuser, two different waxes, the soap dish, two skincare products, the kiwi and the lemon. An air freshener, you guys seeing all this? A coffee cup, a tissue box, a package of straws, protein bites, a book, and shopping bag. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 items. It is a lot. I, I don't mind giving things away, using, doing some things as gifts. So, but just be, but I honestly not sure. Not sure. You guys tell me what you think. That is it for this video. My cat is back chilling in the box. She's still mine even if I'm not here. I love you, Maya. I miss her. Lived with her for like, I don't know, seven years, six years before I moved out. Oh, Jesus, you guys see my NASA shirt? <laughs> uh, but that is it for this video, guys. I am in the process of unpacking, like I just mentioned, the reason that the 
box was shipped here was because I was in the process of moving. So if you guys are into moving vlogs, there's going to be tons of unpacking, organizing, decorating with me, room tours. I do boxes from time to time, even though I canceled a lot of boxes, I still get FabFitFun, I still get Goldie, it's on its way, and I still get... um walmart beauty box and i get mystery boxes from time to time this was the one from bombay and cedar um you know i have the jeffree star one i just posted you can keep an eye out for but um you know i do the mystery bundles from fab fit fun i do hauls anytime i go shopping but i am going to be wrenching out once i move i'm thinking about doing some try on hauls with clothing some plan with me's journal with me's craft with me's and my new craft room i'm really excited about but that is it if you guys like bombay and cedar you like mystery boxes you like my pretty kitty cat you like me definitely give the video a thumbs up it really helps the youtube algorithm comment down below do you think it was worth it is there anything in here that really stands out to you do you think it's all a dud have you guys tried bombay and see did you guys get any of their different subscriptions i'm just looking at the cash she's so cute i keep petting her uh but that is it guys be safe